Bloop. Yay. Okay. Are we muting now? Are we recording? Yes. Okay. Uh, recording for Remain. Can you start the... Yep, yep. Are you, have you started the recording? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'd like Bermain to answer if he's oh, recording. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Uh, I posted the agenda. Uh, we're going to run this differently. Uh, if you're not muted, I assume you have something to say, which means I will stop the meeting and direct it to you. So if you're not muted, like... Where is the agenda posted? I'm sorry. Uh, everything's going to be in the GBF Festival channel. Okay, thank you. And... No, so, uh, if you don't mind muting yourself, uh, oh, there we go. Okay. And I will screen share as soon as I figure out how to. Okay. And confirmation that everybody can see my screen. Yeah, just give it a bit. So you'll, ha you'll hear everyone popping in. So just wait until there's a good bit of people on the bottom of your screen popping in. Beep, 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 beep. And then if you wouldn't mind uh, increasing your size font um, nice size. okay never mind work meeting uh, okay so uh i am you can follow on the uh even on my more, screen sorry, you, you don't have a nitro so it's not showing clear maybe i should do this there we go that's good <laughs> easy okay. meeting okay bye um uh, you can follow on my screen or you can follow on the Google Doc. Uh, most of the stuff, I would just be opening and sharing some links from the document. But uh, uh, welcome to GBF, uh, Geek Beacon Festival. If you haven't been in the initial brainstorming, we're trying to do an open source gaming for social good conference. And this meeting is essentially going to start the planning process. Uh, there's been a core group that has been working on this. and. Uh, this is essentially trying to uh, approach a wider audience. So we're, the target audience is anybody that wants to get involved. So if you're just interested about uh, on attending the conference, it's a, it's a different venue. Um, we all understand that everybody has personal lives and other priorities. Uh, but if you have an interest in actually doing something with the conference, helping out, uh, you are very welcome. And we definitely need the help. Um, Nixie mentioned it earlier, but uh, we kind of a status update. We have a website that is up and running, uh, and we uh, wrote an open letter with a collaboration with a bunch of people from the community and a lot of copy edits from No Say specifically. Thank you for all the feedback. Yay. But uh, I, I won't go through all of this stuff, but essentially it's uh, summarizing who we are, what we're trying to do, the type of audience we're trying to reach for, and what we're trying to basically show people with this conference. Uh, uh, and then again, it's uh, uh, mental health and gaming and open source and social good in general is kind of a summary of that. Um, let's see. Um, we have a uh, Confluence, which is Jira. Uh, basically, we're just reusing Jira. Uh, we have an open source license for, from Atlassian, so we'll be using uh, all of the tooling from there. Confluence is essentially used to uh, uh, summarize some of the resources we have available, um, documents, research, meeting notes, things like that. Uh, Google Drive is used for collaboration. Everything that's finalized moves to Confluence. We have a volunteer form. Uh, it's on the website as well. If you haven't filled it out yet, uh, please do so. Uh, it essentially asks you a couple of questions, uh, what were, what you would like to help with, uh, and so on. Uh, mailing list, more communication is going to come through the mailing list than as, and less probably on the Discord over time, especially as we get more people uh, talking back and forth and emailing volunteers and speakers and all that. Um, but if, and if I can interject, um, we will please. still be having the uh, meetings every first and third. So basically every other week, every first and third Saturday, basically the same time that you uh, have arrived and generously donated your time this Saturday 
we're going to be doing it yeah. twice a month. <laughs> Actually, let me show this real briefly. Thank you. And I'd really uh, like to talk about what we need their help with before we dig into the scary ass board. Just that was my preference. Uh, Don't remember. I, uh, well, um, let me go through this. Uh, I've pulled all the stuff from Trello that was from the brainstorming uh, tickets. Uh, I broke a bunch of things down into essentially what uh, everybody's suggestions were. Uh, and a lot of these tickets need more work. But Nixie, if you wanted to um, yeah. follow that up, you can do so. So if you just look at the what do you want help with, um, I don't think we made it. Oh, did you update it? So basically, it would be great to find leader uh, leaders in this area. It's also good to have help in this area, but essentially, um, just the main tenets of how to like kick off an event, right? So we want somebody to help uh, take care of the speakers. So you know, getting their bio and their call for papers, and just navigating that relationship. Same with uh, sponsors. Uh, we are a five hundred one C. We're a nonprofit at this time, and that's how we roll with things. And so, essentially, just navigating the relationships with sponsors. And um, another thing would be like promotion is it does no good to have a conference if <laughs> nobody knows about it. So, you know, essentially um, figuring out how to update the website, get stuff out on social. We do have like a wonderful, Bermain has been our social uh, beacon for the beacon for a while, but we definitely need some more help with that. And then um, just like technical logistics sides of things, which I think would probably fall into the other, we may want to add that as a category. Uh, but don't get too caught up in like the, oh, I don't know what check checkbox. Um, if you want to help even in a small way, just like let us know. Um, we don't want to spin off too much into the minutia of like each individual like tiny little thing uh, in this meeting. But just from a higher level, um, you know, the last thing I would say is the production of it, which we also don't have on there. But it's basically like, how are we going to record these um, fun little tidbits and in talks? And, um, you know, how are we going to put that on uh, out into the world for other people to geek out about? And then finally, it would be just navigating the attendee communication. So the people that are going to be a part of um, the conference, you know, how are we going to communicate with them? And, um, you know, give them access and this and that. So all of those tenants are really going to function as just like a really kick ass, um, like each spoke will help with this wheel to like roll it along into badassery. That's, that was my thing. Okay. Um, uh, no, if you were unmuted briefly. I just wanted to make sure you didn't have anything you wanted to say. Uh, I'm posting it to the text channel. I didn't want to interrupt. Thank okay, you. Ooh, cool. I see that. If if I can if I can uh, say something real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so um, I just want to say, uh, uh, personally, I'm I'm very proud of what each of you guys have done, uh, especially you, CS Geek, uh, uh, attacking as much stuff. And I and personally, I don't even know how long that you've been working on this, but uh, I, I know you've been working on stuff. I don't know who else has been working on stuff. I, I believe, based on the, the graphic and stuff, uh, Nixie did work on the whole graphic as well as, like, what, like, uh, when we were going to be meeting. So I definitely like that. It's, it's very simple, but still gets the point across. So definitely props to EGL on that. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Yeah, we have, uh, I just want to give a shout out to like the core team. So um, Bermain usually d leads social and um, reach out and trying to like coordinate the events for actually, if you guys play Battlefield, the people above, um, nobody leave right now because we're doing the, the, <laughs> the festival stuff, but afterwards they're doing like a Battlefield event. So Bermain leads events and then Conqueror leads, um, you've seen him around, he leads our Discord and um, then uh, we have uh, Zaku, who's in the chat, who's our advisor for marketing and like, you know, that's a dirty word, but I guess like promotion and how to reach a wider audience. And then um, CS Geek is our 
tech lead, um, which is why he jumped into Jira right away. And then for me, um, I deal with like all the content side of stuff. So how do we make um, like pro programming is a bad word too, because that means something in the entertainment industry. But yeah, so that just kind of gives you a higher level of like what we all do. Um, to add and... in also to my role is I'm helping you with content as well as I'm helping lead the charge with sponsorships and get yeah. those, uh, corporate relationships going. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But I think one of the things is we need help additionally to that uh, because this is a good, fun undertaking and a lot of it is um, we, we need help, <laughs> basically. <laughs> We want to make a committee. Yeah, we want to put together a planning committee, which would have like a board that, um, you know, the, involves the, the last time I have run a, con a, a planned a conference, it was a six to eight month process. Uh, I, the last time I've done this, I was a student, but uh, I, it's kind of the expectation is that everybody else has other things to do. So it's going to be slow moving, but there's a lot of stuff to do. So. Um, yeah, that's, okay, good, so, that's a good time to talk about the timeline if you want, since you said that. Uh, let me jump into that, or let me preface, preface that. Uh, most of the activity that we've been doing so far has been writing templates uh, and documents and talking about what we are, who we are, bringing up the website, uh, get the wording right on how to reach out to uh, a sponsor, or not a sponsor, a speaker in the open source field, and then the other one is sponsorship. Uh, work on the wording to basically present ourselves and how to basically reach out to Google, Microsoft, or smaller companies and um, basically ask for help and ask for speakers and ask for money. Uh, a lot of the companies will be closing their books at the end of the quarter, uh, the fiscal quarter. Uh, so that's end of December, uh, and they have they usually have a bunch of money left over that they need to spend. So this, this is a great time to reach out to them. It's also short term on us because we're still kind of getting everything lined up. Uh, so that's, that's one thing that's uh, somewhat pressing. And then the other thing uh, I'd like to, at least early by the beginning of next year to have most of the tax side kind of figured out that's in um, what we're using to stream, what we're using to record, uh, how that's going to look like. And uh, Nixie, obviously, you're going to be more involved in that since you're uh, a host, uh, at the very least. Uh, we might have multiple ones. We'll see. Um, and th the other thing is, depending on the number of tracks, like from the brainstorming, we had a bunch, a ton of ideas. Like everybody had, like, I would love to see uh, something about this project, this person is cool, all that sort of stuff. But a lot of those project, those uh, bullet points don't have contact information or anything. So help with researching how to get a hold of them, establishing contact, all that sort of stuff is very uh, needed. Um, Nixie, did you want to add something? Um, I just, I don't know if you uh, want to show the brainstorming. Some people, w a lot of you guys were here for the brainstorming, but some weren't. Um, but essentially, uh, the week before last, we did this really cool, like, public brainstorming event, which caused a lot of you guys to, like, come here today. And that's awesome. Do you, um, oh, go ahead. Do you, do you mind if I haul my friend into this meeting so she can kind of hear what this is all about? Yeah, we might have to, s or... Is that cool, CS Geek? We might have to... That, that's totally fine. Uh, um, she is welcome to attend. We're also recording this, but uh, yeah, like uh, that's fine. Bring her in if she's so available. You guys would rather, like, you know, talk to her outside of the meeting? Yeah, I think we have a pretty What's, good... The uh, beginning of the meeting was pretty good to just keep as a recording for anyone else who missed it. So I think we're okay. Do you, CS Geek, to bring people in? We're, uh, we're yeah, I, I guess uh, I still have to go through the agenda, but I, I guess do you want us to stop the meeting and give her contacts, or what? Uh, or do you just want her listening in it? I, I'd her. like her to listen in to kind of know what the project is about because I don't know. I think she could be able to help, but I don't know, and I'd like her to know a little bit more about what's going on. Uh, if you don't think that yeah, this is the appropriate forum for that, then uh, we can do it later. No, that, that's fine. Uh, bring her in, but uh, we'll.
probably have a follow-up conversation after we end the meeting so we don't uh, uh, interrupt anything. Okay. Um, Sage, oh, do you have uh, anything? Quick question. Go ahead. Yeah, I submitted a spreadsheet of possible sponsor sponsors that you had. Uh, you gave me gave it to me, and I filled it out. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to know if you had a chance to look at that. Uh, yes, uh, I, I went through the list and I created a bunch more uh, tickets uh, from uh, the uh, screenshots that you've uh, uh, provided for uh, previous conferences uh, that the companies have sponsored. I uh, essentially just need to finish up the uh, messaging to reach out to any sponsors first. And then ideally it would, it would be uh, delegating to more than just me, obviously, because uh, I'd like to have a life as well <laughs> outside of this. What? Um, gotcha. Yeah, I think we should onboard uh, everyone sorry, on, to the tool that you want. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Sage, did you have a follow-up? Yeah, I apparently was removed from the Trello board. Is there a new Trello board or something? Because I can't access the tickets anymore. Uh, yes, everything is in Jira, so uh, all, all the Trello stuff has gone away. Um, so uh, I'll drop it in the... Uh, uh, Jira has this uh, cool time charting um, because we have certain milestones that we want to hit at certain times. So, um, and it's the tool that CS Geek really wants to use, so... <laughs> Trello gets to be a bit unmanageable when you have like so many yeah, moving it, parts. It, it's it, it's it's a tool moving forward essentially. Um, the uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I don't want to get into it. Uh, Trello is limited, so uh, we're going to be using uh, Atlassian, and we also have a license to basically do everything as long as it's in the open, uh, which that's works out for our yeah. purposes. Um, okay, uh, Nixie, were you going to add oh, something else before uh, I move to the next topic? I just was hoping to get people added. Um, I think the the uh, hope was if you did fall, uh, fill out the volunteer um, survey that we would add you to the project board if you expressed interest. So that was the, is that work for you, CS Geek? Uh, anybody can join. Oh, yeah, it's an all, it's a public uh, board. Uh, everybody should be able to comment and probably be assigned tickets, but I'll add people individually if uh, permissions are not. Well, I'll post correctly. that in the GBF um, text chat, and you let me know if people cannot, if you guys can't comment. So I think it, that's it, the. Oh, you. The are link good. is already there. Okay, yeah. sorry, <laughs> I didn't it's see fun. that. Uh, okay, uh, let me touch on one last thing, uh, well, two last things, and then I'll open the floor for, uh, I guess, discussion. Um, so I essentially gone through all the suggestions as far as speakers and uh, all that sort of jazz. Uh, I'm excluding the, uh, like, Twitch streamers and stuff like that. And, Are you showing uh, anything? I'm not yet. Uh, Sorry. And things like uh, Alicia Silverstone's suggestion, which I, I don't know where she would fit in, but uh, if somebody feels strongly about that, they can enlighten me onto where uh, that falls under. But currently, these are the tracks where all these uh, groupings are coming, taking shapes, shape. Um, Mental health is something that... The, size, please. Uh, it's yes. fairly visible. Okay. Uh, mental health is something that the Geek Beacon community feels strongly about, but we honestly have very little ideas on what we want to do or what type of speakers we would like to present. So I think uh, that needs more polish as to uh, which speakers we want to invite. Uh, gaming, specifically the Linux open source crossover, uh, we need a lot more ideas. Uh, on uh, especially uh, you know the requirement all of this is tying it to social good um, and then be beyond that there's a lot of uh, the general open source stuff there's a thousand ideas uh, privacy and security I think is fairly well established um, <clears throat> decentralization that, that would be something like uh, Mastodon distributed 
Facebook, distributed DNS, distributed, uh, uh, was it the name? I forget the name of it right now, but uh, uh, distributed, uh, there's a DNS, um, uh, oh, sorry, uh, a domain name registrar running on the blockchain that allows you to get a top level domain. So for example, that's a decentralization concept. Actually, they confirmed uh, that they will be pro providing a speaker. I'll probably just pull the name so I don't feel completely silly about it. Uh, name base or? Yeah, name base. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't uh, know you. So uh, essentially, like we should talk about, uh, uh, I'll open up the flow for discussion later on, but we should talk about a little bit more about uh, locking down what the tracks are, and then we can focus on kind of slotting speakers in those categories. Um, there, there's one I haven't put there, um, but there's there's two speakers. One is um, actually, actually I kind of lumped it into a general, but it's the legal and moral stuff. Uh, there's a couple speakers from a, a law perspective about the open source licenses, legality of things. Uh, another one that makes a legal document uh, more accessible to the layman terms, basically, uh, humanly understandable. Uh, and another one which was very interesting was uh, the uh, person that was talking about the morality of AI. So we are pushing our own biases on the artificial intelligence engine because humans are building it. And then the, uh, you know, we assume that AI is, uh, you know, agnostic because it's just a robot, but it actually takes on all of our biases as humans. So I think it's a very interesting talk. I just don't know where to fit it in beyond just the general OSS. Thanks. Uh, and um, then the, sorry, one element yeah. you missed, the only element you missed. Um, and uh, yeah, it seems like the Trello, the brainstorming board was also deleted in general, so I don't have vision on it. But um, personal digital civil liberties, personal privacies, being pro properly paranoid, when do you, um, you know, uh, how do you advocate for your digital rights? And, um, and then the last thing I would say is the accessibility piece that isn't written on there, but I'd like it to be. Uh, and, um, you know, I'll the, spin off with you, CSG, because you do need to undeprecate that board so I can get some um, more clarity on some stuff um, the, for myself. The, the accessibility stuff is uh, kind of overlaps in a lot of different areas, which is why I didn't put it. Like, uh, it's accessibility in gaming, for example, would be a, a nice big area, but I'm not sure, like, it can be in open source, it can be in all kinds of different areas. Yes. So I guess um, we just want to wrap it up so Bermain can go to um, the next event um, and then if you wouldn't mind and then he can stop recording and then drop the recording into the GBF uh, yeah the uh, I think uh, I was going to open the floor for discussion uh, the only uh, thing I was going to ask uh, I know we have a couple of volunteers that can't make it during this time uh, I, I initially scheduled this time to get some uh, presence from overseas if, uh, yeah. if there was any interest but if uh, I essentially was just seeing if we move this meeting to uh, like a 6 p.m. Pacific time, something along the, those lines, if people would be able to make it or not. Um, but that's that's all, folks. I think that that would be better for a lot of people because uh, I, I know at least for us 9 to 5 folks, we're uh, using our weekends to like run errands and stuff. I was going to yeah. go to Costco today and mm -hmm. I totally forgot about this meeting until half an hour before the <laughs> notification popped up. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yes, considering I don't believe we had participation in this meeting from the EU, so I think it is fine to not have to worry about it being EU friendly. Also, a lot of people stay up super late the night before and just literally aren't awake, which we've had. <laughs> so maybe we can find... Do, are we cool to end the, because I was going to ask people some questions. Yeah, uh, but then you, you can end the recording. Okay, and hang then, on. Uh, Before you end the recording, I just wanted to say, so yeah, this is a Geek Beacon Fest 2021, and our whole goal is to make the world a better place through the celebration of mental health, gaming, open culture, and open source, and we can't wait to see you there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay.
I, I didn't want him to stop the recording.